The following video is for educational purposes only. This is to help students and reviewers for their upcoming quizzes, exams, or board exams. If there are any suggestions, corrections regarding the video, and or additional topics that you wanted us to discuss or elaborate, do not hesitate to comment your opinions. Thank you and enjoy watching. Episode 12, English Medieval Architecture Development of English Medieval Architecture Periods Number 1, Pre-Roman It is relating to the period before the founding of ancient Rome. 2, Roman 3, Anglo-Saxon Period It is characterized by the use of timber for domestic building. 4, Norman or Transition Period It is characterized by bold and massive arc Letter A Distinct piers and flat buttresses Number 5 Early English or Lancet Period It is less massive and uses simple ornament These are the distinct features It is tall and narrow Which is the Lancet openings Projecting buttresses, pinnacles, and steep pitch roofs. Group of slender shafts at the interior. Number 6. Decorated or geometrical curvilinear period. It is more ornate and elaborated decoration. Distinct features. A. Geometrical and flowing tracery sometimes crowned by oji arc. Letter B. An enlarged, clear story at the expense of Triforium. Number 7. Perpendicular period or also known as rectilinear, late-pointed or Lancastrian period. This is the period where the use of fan vaults and fan pendants vaults evolved. Tudor period. Tudor is used in domestic buildings rather than ecclesiastical building. Similar to perpendicular style, characteristics are square-headed mullion windows, ornamental fireplace, gables with pinnacles, chimneys, and finial. Example of buildings are the castle, where the king and queen's residence fortress in the time of war. The picture on the right side is showing the typical parts of a castle. English Gothic Moldings Number 1. Botel or Edge Gall Number 2. Pointed Botel Number 3. Brace or Bracket Number 4. Wave Molding Number 5. Keel Molding Number 6. Scroll Molding Number 7. Casement Molding Number 8. Hood or Dripstone And Number 9. Label Molding 